try a little experiment. Hi guys, today I'm back in West Humble, very near Dorking, uh, slope of Box Hill. I'm not looking at the village, I'm just here to start off with. We're heading up to West Humble Chapel once again. The novelist Fanny Burney lived in this, well, the old house here, from 1797 to 1801. I talk about her in my Micklem video, which I'll link below. Let's head up to West Humble Chapel. There's Box Hill in the background. And the uh, walking trails, very steep. I'm a walker, not a hiker. All right, let's go. This is a very ancient route. We're on the scarp of the North Downs. Got the North Downs Way National Trail just not that very far just over there. And a lot of these settlements were built way before Christianity took over, but way before then. But they're all sort of built along these ancient ridgeways. And I've always wanted to know why. Why these particular places? chapel was built in the 12th century. It's only in use for about 300 years. It's a chapel, so uh, although Micklem I don't think was a parish, uh, I think it came under Polesden. But it says on walking miles over to Micklem, where uh, the church was there. So I'll link my Micklem video below. So yeah, it's been a ruin for sort of you know, 700 years. But it's still fascinating. I don't think many people come here actually. Yeah, it's really overgrown. I suppose the National Trust have got their hands full. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try a little experiment. Okay. So, um, I've been doing some dowsing around West Humble Chapel. It's very hard to film in dows at the same time. You need another cameraman really just to do it so I can focus on this. So I thought I'd do the dowsing, a little bit of dowsing, and then just tell you what the results were. Um, I'm very very much convinced now that we've got a major earth energy current coming through southern England. Very much like the Michael and Mary. It goes from um, uh, St Michael's Mount in Cornwall all the way up to Norfolk coast, going through Avebury and Glastonbury and places like that. Um, but yesterday when I was at uh, Hampton Court, I got such an overwhelming, powerful, heady energy as I walked into the Royal Chapel. I'm not expecting to do that. I was out there just filming a history vlog. You know, I wasn't even thinking about it. And it really need not me off my feet. They asked you not to film in the chapel, which is understandable, so I didn't. But man, really heavy energy in there, really heavy. Whew, it must not be out when I walked in there. I'm not a psychic, but I do sense certain atmospheres. But really, really heavy. Walked out, all gone. And I just asked the rods if that was a, a node point, a cross point between male and female energies. And it said yes, multiple times, quite strongly. So um, Hampton Court could be a node point. What I need to do is get, find a map and start going through. What I'm looking for is earth energy currents, which is like a, a weave, like a snake. Okay, and they extract, going in, extract like that. Um, so there's one here. Um, we have got a male and female energy coming through. So yeah, it's interesting. So yeah, the question is, how far does the... Uh, Earth energy current go and how can we map it? Now people like Hamish Miller who did the Sun and the Serpent who rediscovered the Michael and Mary line um, you know it took a few years out of his life to do that and we owe so much to him for doing that but how can we do that in southern England and in Surrey specifically? I'm going to start looking into this and see what we can find. I did also ask if there was an ancient site on this wall before the chapel was here and it said yes on multiple occasions which makes sense I've said before do the ancients have a much more astute awareness 
of the atmosphere and energies than we have now. Birds instinctively know to go south for winter, you know. It's an instinct, so maybe it's something we've lost over the years that we've only sort of rediscovered through dowsing. So there you go. I think I've got a project to do with my lovely divining rods. My dowsing rods I've had for 25 years, I think. I bought these in the Henge shop at Avebury. Um, just a sort of, oh, let's try this out, and I've been doing it ever since. So yeah, should be interesting. Mm -hmm.